What's cracking, yo? Guys, Crash here. I'm here with Evil Baby. And we are here. This is like her first time at the piano celebration. So bringing her here. I couldn't bring her on day one of the celebration, but I'm bringing her now. So now she's gonna get to enjoy some stuff. Now, they didn't have this last week. So when you walk in, they do have the queues now. So you're gonna see where all the events are at for the shows and entertainment as well as they can find all of the different types of foods and locations and you can scan your your phone right here because they didn't have this last time so if you guys want to find out you can download the map on your phone you can find where all the foods are at so not only is it evil baby's uh trip to the peanut celebration but also today is knott's Prairie farms no more chaperone policy here you said policy days and Saturday was their last policy day and now it's gone. So we're going to see how it is today, how much more crowded it's going to be now that the chaperone policy is entirely gone. So this is so cool. Snoopy is wearing his astronaut uniform. Last week he didn't have it. To this time he does have it. Evil you know, Baby is over there hanging out with Pig Pen. Look at that. Pig Pen's over here talking to people. Piglets today seem to be a week and moving around. Evil you know, Baby's gonna kind of take a picture with Pig Pen. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying the mashed potato casserole that they have here at the boardwalk, which comes with the side, it comes with mac and cheese, and it comes with the cornbread. Of course, it's my drink. And then I got this also, the banana pudding. It's not on the peanut celebration uh, thing that's going on, but I want to try it. I saw someone else try it. It looks really delicious. Evil Baby got her three mac cheese meal with the barbecue chicken. I think it is, so that looks pretty good. And she got herself a little drink. But yes, we are gonna dive into this puppy, which is part of the peanut celebration. So you can see the portion. The portion is very heavy. It's a lot of food. That's a lot of food for just one person. I should have probably like shared it with Evil Baby, but that's a lot. She's got her pet over there, which is a lot too. And she's enjoying it, enjoying it? That was good? I guess she's gonna dive right into the food. Just like that. I didn't get a chance to even take a picture of it or nothing. All right, here we go. All right, we are gonna dive into the mashed potato casserole they have here. We got the, the gravy and mashed potatoes. I think it's cheese. Corn, there's corn in there as well. It's like mashed potatoes and corn and gravy. Are those spice or something? Like maybe a lot of pepper. Butter, pepper. Spicy? No, like a little. Not like, not spicy, but pepper. Some little pepper in there. Here's the baby. I noticed something in here. A lot of pepper. Very pepper. And there's cheese. Definitely cheese. Now I would get this when they open because you're gonna get the fresh batch. But something like this sits for a while, I wouldn't get it. Is it good? It's good. It's very tasty. The gravy is, is actually well, well, well balanced. Good. I'm just mi missing chicken. I just want it. Uh, it was mashed potato casserole with chicken rotisserie. There's chicken in here. I don't taste it. Oh. The mashed potato by itself, that's pretty good. Might be a Popeye's mashed potatoes, I guess, in a way. I don't know. If you guys try it, let me know down below what you guys think about the mashed potato casserole. Of course, it does come with mac and cheese as well. Well, the mac and cheese is a hit and miss here. If you come when they open, the mac and cheese is gonna be really good. But this time when you come in the afternoon and the mac and cheese has been sitting there for a while, that's when you gotta pass. But right now the mac and cheese here, everything's fresh because they just opened up, literally. So the food is fresh. Now, to be honest as well, the cornbread they have here, it's always a miss in the hit. Some days it's good, but some days it's not. So today is actually the cornbread today. It's fresh and it's very tasty. So this is something that's not on the peanut celebration thing, but I did see someone eat this and I wanted to try it 
to see if this is any good. I'm a very big fan of banana. Looks like banana hard chips. Yeah, so the hard banana pieces get a little wafers, and I believe it's probably like vanilla pudding or banana pudding, some custard in there. So we are gonna try this guy. Alright, so we're gonna try the banana pudding. It's got pieces of banana in there. You taste the, the chunks of banana. Uh, a little brown. Mm. If you love banana pudding as much as I do, mm. that right there is the winner. With a wafer cooking, that is the winner. I love this pudding. I can eat right here. What about boys at Great Adventure was saying? Schmacking. Schmacking. This right here, this right here is schmacking. And we'll win. I get five of these and eat these. Mm. That's all good. Okay, so I did finish the dessert. Now the food, I can't eat no more. I can't even finish that. That's a lot of mac and cheese. I asked for some, and he's like, no, it's fine. That's not true. And then this over here, she didn't finish her plate. That's a lot. So we definitely need a third person because this is a lot of food and I can't eat no more. Like I'm so donezo. So right now Timber Mountain is empty of water. This ride seems to be down as well. Early in the week when they came down, they were also closed. So maybe uh, next weekend they'll probably be backing up. I'm not sure what they're, they're doing to it, but as you guys can see it's empty and out of commission. See, now I had the mashed potato casserole or roasted tree chicken over at the boardwalk. And I didn't get any roasted tree chicken in my mashed potato. So I think I got scat. I just got mashed potatoes and corn and cheese. Not, I need a, like a redo on that one there because there were no roasted tree chicken in my mashed potatoes. And this is the flavor of the sauce or something. I don't know what it is, but you guys saw what I recorded. There is no chicken in that mashed potatoes. After I look at the sign again, I think I could have sworn it was to have chicken. It didn't come with chicken. I don't know about that. All right, so last weekend I came, we came for the donuts and the donut machine was broken, it burned down or something like that. So now we're gonna see if they have them today. All right, so we got our donuts. Now you can choose to which one you want. You can either get cinnamon or you get powdered donuts. We chose the powdered donuts, but they give you two varieties, but the donut machine is working. So you guys can come and check it out. So I want to try, the guy recommended powdered donuts was better than cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. So we got powdered donuts. So this is how they look like. Now I'm not sure they're supposed to be hot or warm, but they don't feel warm, but kind of look like little powdered little donuts inside that you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna show you that again. Just trying to make that little mixture of powdered donuts inside. All right, here we go. Like little mini donuts. Like I said, you can choose between cinnamon, 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 cinnamon or powder. You get the powder. Kind of give me that Benet Disney type thing to it. it smells like, it smells all right. You need water. Water, coffee. The donuts are. <clears throat> Definitely some coffee. It's coffee or water, because it's pretty thick. What are your thoughts? Hey, yeah, I'm starting to drink with it. Right? It's a little too thick. It's kind of dry, right? Kind of dry, too. So maybe not a good idea to stick the whole thing in your mouth, but oh, maybe God, take a bite. Oh, yeah. oh, damn. So like plain yeah, donuts, like they warm up in a warmer and you add sugar or a powder on it. Well, it's not bad. Uh, yeah. You have a hot cup of coffee, cold day, you come get that. The donuts aren't that hot, but like semi-warm. Look, oh my God. Dry. 
definitely need water, something to wash it down with, because the donuts, mm, pretty thick. All right, so one of the downsides about the donuts, once they get cold, they get super hard and it's super dry, and it's, it's a whole combination just doesn't work. Would I buy it again for $8? No, I would not. But I recommend buying it. If you have $8 and you're not pimping on the budget, then I say yes. But if you're very keen on the budget, I say no. The powder cinnamon donuts here, I say are a pass for the peanut celebration. So take it at a whim. Like I said, you have extra $8 sitting around. I say try it, but I wouldn't get it again. The donuts are very dry and like literally like choking on them, just trying to like swallow it. Okay, so we're about to try the Chipotle chicken tomato sandwich here over at Camp Snoopy. And it comes with tons of fries. Now if you guys have the meal plan, it does work with the meal plan guys. This is part of the meals that they have here at Camp Snoopy. So we're gonna dive in. It's for also for the peanut celebration. So this is like one of the meals. It looks pretty big. It looks pretty toasty. It's like a little garlic butter on toasted bread. So it's got like chipotle sauce. The chipotle sauce is like dripping. But we are gonna taste this puppy and see how good it is. Well, look at that. You can see the goodness on this. That right there looks pretty tasty. We're gonna try it to take a bite. It's really dripping all over the place. Yeah, let me take my picture, bro. Cut some of that tomato. <laughs> Did you want to take a picture of this? It's okay, it's got a little bite, but I know you want to take a picture. I stopped doing my review because she wanted to take a picture, but instead she just took it to eat it. I take it that's delicious. Well, that was my review. I get a fry for our review. You guys get to try it? Let me know how it is. Because apparently I'm, I, it's gone sandwich. Okay, so I gotta have you little baby hold the camera for me because the sandwich is very, very messy and it's leaking a lot of chipotle sauce. So you can see the chicken, it's got bacon, it's got tomato, it's got cheese, it's got a lot of sauce, which is making a lot of mess. And the bread is very greasy, buttery, you guys can see. Your baby's been eating it, but. This is actually really good. If you guys haven't tried it, here it comes snipping. I truly recommend you try this one here. We got the meal plan, it just worked on this. The bread is off, the butter bread. It's worth it. So the chicken, the tomato, the bacon, and the cheese, very good, a good combination. You can see how big the sandwich is. Like I said, you gotta watch out, it's very messy. It is leaking chipotle sauce. And of course, Knott's always gives you tons of fries. I don't know why, but they give you lots of fries. Like, they like fries galore, they just give you tons of them. This one here, I truly recommend. Will I get this again? Absolutely. But don't look at Journey. Sir, you gotta try this sandwich. It's actually pretty good. It's not like, oh my God, it's good, but it's like, it's not bad, it's really good. Of course, when coming to Nasby Farm, you gotta stop and get the secret drink. Because the secret drink here, it's just, it's good. It's, it's amazing, it's just, uh, it's so good. There we go guys, that right there, try some foods. Now I have to go and redo the mashed potatoes because I'm telling you, not to get me wrong, everybody kept saying it's supposed to come with chicken and mine didn't come with chicken. Maybe I got the vegan one. Maybe they said, hey fat boy, no chicken for you. I don't know, but I didn't get no chicken on my mashed potatoes. So we need to go back to Boardwalk and try that one. But everything else that we had was good. Once again, full stomach. You baby have fun, did you have fun? Yes. Yes? She had a blast. Also ran to our boy, Adrian out there. A uh, really cool guy, my dude, thanks for hanging out with us. It's fun times. Chilling, talking, just walking around. Did a little beef jerky review as well. So I'll make that video sometime in a week. You guys will see. Her Woodstock toy, we came to cash into your war. It got wet. Somebody had their soda and the calico ride could open it up today. And so Woodstock got full of soda inside that little thing. Who in the hell carries their drink and puts it inside there? And now it's gonna spill. But so Woodstock is dirty, so Woodstock's gotta get washed. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. She appreciate it. The farm is fun. So many things to see. 
I'm almost done with the majority of the food. Some foods I probably won't even try, but because it just doesn't find my way. But if someone's there with me, I'll take a picture of it and I'll get their opinions. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you guys are new to the channel. Make sure you guys do like, subscribe, and we're out. Thanks for watching. Peace.